Mr. President, I have yet to meet a person in Minnesota that is hungry. Yet today. I have yet to meet a person in Minnesota that says they don't have access to enough food to eat. Now, I should say that hunger is a relative term, Mr. President. You know, I had a cereal bar for breakfast. I guess I'm hungry now. Minnesota State Senator there, Steve Draskowski, has never met a person that's hungry. In fact, he's never met someone to tell, hey, Steve, I'm hungry, bro. So apparently they don't exist. I, I haven't met Steve Draskowski. I guess I've never met an a-hole before. That's all it takes, I guess. This is some really good logic, isn't it? Let's let him continue down this stupid path. I guess I'm hungry now. Uh, that to some might be that maybe that's the definition of the bill. I don't know. I didn't I didn't see a definition of hunger in the bill, Mr. President. Um, but I think most reasonable people suggest hunger means you don't have enough to eat in order to to uh, provide for metabolism and growth. He supposes so. This is uh, him arguing against. Uh, <laughs> A, a bill that would advocate for free lunch programs for children in school. Uh, I'm not sure if he's including children in those folks that he's never met saying they're hungry. I have. I, I don't know if he doesn't pay attention to folks or this politician who says he likes to represent the people doesn't really ever talk to the people. Either way it goes, um, there's some actual statistics from people who have met hungry people in Minnesota. Maybe Steve should refer to this. Because one in six neighbors, they say, in Minnesota experienced food insecurity in 2021. 483,000 people about. One in 11 kids, since that's what they're discussing now, didn't have regular access to the nutrition needed to thrive. Now, needing to thrive, is that something that we should care about with children in schools? I guess Steve really doesn't care because uh, research does confirm that hungry students are more likely to score lower on standardized tests. I assume it's something he would think is important. Repeat a grade, be suspended from school, get sick more often, and be hospitalized more frequently. Who gives a damn? He hasn't met any of them, so they don't exist. What is that's happening, by the way, is he says things like this. <clears throat> He's saying that people who say that there's food insecurity, that people are hungry, that children who go to school and don't have their lunch or breakfast even sometimes, they're all lying. That's the only thing that's left to take from this. He's saying I've never met anyone. So everyone is always full. Everyone has all the nutritional meals that they can that they need at their fingertips. And this is all just a manufactured conspiracy to get children food at school. This is the hill this guy's dying on. What's your thoughts on this, yes? Yeah, why does it matter that he's never met anyone who's hungry? It's not that surprising that he hasn't. People tend to hang out with people in similar economic groups as they as they exist in. I wouldn't expect him to be interacting with people suffering from food insecurity. It doesn't mean that they're not out there though. And as an elected public official, it's his job to go out of his way, find those people and help them. He wanted that job. And that said, he seems to be confusing hunger with food insecurity. I'm hungry right now, but I'm not worried about where my next meal is gonna come from. There's a difference, right? And the stat you pulled, it came from one of the largest food banks in the country. How is he going to ignore one sixth of his state's population and still consider himself a public servant? You know, like. We don't need to harp on how heartless this is and how disappointing it is coming from a lawmaker, but it's especially ironic, I have to say it, coming from a group of people who claim to care so much about the children. Everything they do is for the children, except for all the things that they don't do for the children. I say a lot that these politicians reveal who they are and what they're really saying to you. They just do it in coded words. What Steve, I keep blanking on his last name because it's a little bit different here. What Steve Draskowski is saying is that uh, I don't, all these things, these worries about children in school with food and all that stuff, I don't care about. It's not important to me. I serve other folks. I serve the people that have money. I serve people that pay me to say things like this. I serve the people that want me to pass legislation or not pass legislation in this case that would actually provide school breakfast and lunch to children. That's what he's saying. He just won't say it on the campaign trail. He'll say, uh, what about the children? He'll say, I'm looking to protect the children. I'm looking to look out for you. I'm looking to represent you and make your lives better. But all the things that come with that, he's not willing to do. So which one is it? What he says or then what he actually does? Because he voted against this, despite the fact that it did still pass in the Senate, in the Senate as well. And it's gonna head over to the House. So maybe they'll allow at least children, the hungry ones in the state to have meals when they go to school. 
Maybe. Not on Steve's watch, though. 